Hi, I'm Marc Delcourt and I'm here to tell you about Global Bioenergies, its history and plans for the future. I head up this company, which I founded in 2008 together with Philippe Marlier, a visionary scientist in the field of industrial biology. Industrial biology is a pillar of energy transition, one of the main challenges for the 21st century. Microorganisms, in other words, bacteria or yeast, are used to convert agricultural resources such as sugar, cereals or agricultural waste into fuels and materials. But bacteria and yeast do not naturally produce hydrocarbons. The microorganisms must undergo major transformation in order to produce the same components as oil-derived products. This critical challenge to produce hydrocarbons from bacteria is the mission on which we based Global Bioenergies. Seventure, the venture capital arm of BPCE, one of the largest banks in France, invested 3.2 million euros in this adventure in 2009. The project also received large subsidies from the French government. Global Bioenergies first set about rewriting the bacterial software code to convert sugars into isobutene, a hydrocarbon that is widely used in the industry. Two years of intensive research work later, we have successfully produced the molecule by fermentation at milliliter scale. We then set up a one liter volume prototype. To get to the next stage, Global Bioenergies launched its IPO and has been floated on the Paris Stock Exchange since then. We gradually improved the efficiency of our groundbreaking process and produced the first kilograms of isobutene. The company raised 23 million euros in 2013, a round led by the bank CMCIC and obtained a further 4 million euro in funding from the French government. An industrial pilot was designed, built and installed in eastern France in the largest agro-industrial complex in Europe. Using this pilot, we can now produce batches of isobutene for delivery to a range of different industries, including car maker Audi, chemicals manufacturer Arkema, and domestic gas operators. Now at the final development stage of the process, Global Bioenergies is building a demo plant at Leuna, the most modern refinery in Germany. We have secured funds from the German government and from a bank consortium. The demo, which is a small-scale industrial plant, will have a capacity of 100 tons per year and is set to start production in July 2016. To recap, there are several stages in the development of such an industrial biology process. The first step is proof of concept on a small scale, which is followed by a prototype, an industrial pilot, before scaling up to a demo plant. So, what's next? In fact, the road ahead is already partially mapped out. In May 2015, Cristal Union, the second largest sugar manufacturer in France, teamed up with Global Bioenergies in a joint venture to build and operate the first ever large-scale isobutene plant with an annual capacity of 50,000 tons. It should be operational by 2018. The financing package of the venture is in preparation and commercial links are already in the works. The plant will produce gasoline. Yes, gasoline, Global Bioenergy's isobutene process, will actually produce real gasoline identical to the one derived from oil, but from plant-based resources. The plant is in fact targeting three major markets. Gasoline, which we've just covered. Jet fuel, which is also a vibrant market growing at a rate of 5% per annum. As things currently stand, biofuels are not used in air transport. And Global Bioenergies is one of the very few companies capable of providing a solution for this sector. The third is the materials, which include plexiglass, rubber and plastics. These very large markets could unlock the potential for the creation of not just one, but hundreds of plants in the future. 
We are talking here about a new decentralized industrial world with factories located close to the resources. The process could provide Europe and the United States with a unique opportunity for re-industrialization. To get a clearer idea of what it means to deploy this unique process on a large scale, I'd like to dwell on a few points in a little more detail. First, we come on the question of resources. Are we generating competition with food production? These last decades, global agricultural production has increased steadily, not only as an absolute value, but also in terms of the quantity produced per capita. Chronic agricultural overproduction is collapsing farm prices, threatening farmers' livelihoods, and results in a huge amount of waste. Over 30% of the world's food is wasted. Also, using agricultural byproducts as a resource, such as corn stover or wheat straw, is an emerging solution. Such second generation feedstocks will soon be usable on a large scale in global bioenergies process. There is also the question of competitiveness compared to oil. The slump in oil prices since summer 2014 is not good news for the field of industrial biology. But at the same time, global overproduction is driving down prices for agricultural goods. All in all, current conditions are quite favorable and the price of oil, which is a limited resource, should recover faster than agricultural prices. Now let's turn to the impact on the environment. As we know, biofuels produce two to five times less carbon dioxide than oil-based fuels. Governments in Europe and in the United States support this environmental advantage through various tax incentives linked to biofuels. So, we've talked about the maturity of this technology. A pilot is up and running. The demo plant will come on stream in 2016, followed by the first commercial scale plant in 2018. We've also looked at the resources, the economics involved, and the benefits for the environment. It only remains for us to consider global bioenergy's ability to realize its grand ambitions. Global bioenergy is a small, 65 strong company. Our team includes experienced managers and veterans from major industrial companies. The next few months and years will tell whether the company can deliver on its promises. Converting renewable resources into energy and materials to safeguard our world as fossil resources are depleted is the most pressing challenge we face in the 21st century.